What does a rocket scientist know about the laws of attraction? Probably a lot, actually. This next sister is the truth. Olympia LaPointe has successfully launched 28 NASA space shuttle missions. She's written books and is now on her third book. It is the Unleashed Answers series, and this third book gives you some insights into how science uh, can help you get what you want. And there are some key things you should do to unlock the answers. She joins me now. Again, she's a real-life rocket scientist. I ain't never met one of them before. And an author. And she's here to tell us about her latest book, Answers Unleashed 2, The Science of Attracting What You Want. Welcome to The Griot. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. What made you write this book? Why this book? Why, why now? Oh, great question. And it's an honor to be on your show. Uh, my latest book, Answers Unleashed to the Science of Attracting What You Want, deals with the effect of decision making. Specifically, whatever future that we want, we have to make effective decisions to get there. And in my book, I talk about six effective decisions that we can make. It doesn't matter if you're a young person, you're in your career, or you're about to retire. Every single part of our life has the ability to make effective decisions for the future that we want. And I chose to write this book because my own personal experiences. I grew up in South Central Los Angeles and made a series of decisions to eventually put myself in the seat that would be in mission control, helping launch 28 NASA space shuttle missions into space. And when I started doing a inventory about what it took for me to get to that point. I realized that effective decision making was the key to the future. And so I chose to write this book to share with our young audiences as well as professionals on the six key decisions for the future that you want. What are some of those big takeaway points? There are six takeaway points in the book. And this is the first. We get a chance to choose the future that we want. So often we are tricked into believing that our future is what it is, meaning whatever we've been born into, if, we, if we've been born into poverty or we've been in a situation where we are trying to find our freedom and, and it's not there, we, we are often tricked into thinking that we don't have choices. And so the first decision is knowing that you get a chance to choose the future that you want. The second key part of the book is understanding that your decisions create this attraction to you. So you start attracting opportunities. And there's six different areas that we make decisions. The first is in our faith, what the purpose that we have in our environment. The second is our identity. Who do we choose to be in the toughest moments? The third is our intent, how we choose to change and impact situations. The fourth is our learning what do we choose to learn and what do we choose to throw out the fourth is uh, our excuse me the the next one rather is our resources how we are going to multiply what we have and refuse the idea that we don't have enough and the last is how we have decisions with ourselves and other people these six areas of decision making allows us to make effective decisions and the last takeaway is this you have the ability to no matter where you are go back in time and just forgive other people and yourself so you move forward on the trajectory of your life i like that last point a lot you know sometimes we can forgive others and not even ourselves but the book gives us a kind of uh, pathway to reimagining ourselves, reimagining our future, reimagining our possibilities. And it makes sense because you got some of those stories yourself. I mean, how does somebody go from failing math to becoming a rocket scientist? <laughs> That's a great question. Well, someone goes from failing math, like myself, I failed algebra. Uh, geometry, calculus, and chemistry because I didn't know how to look at math and I didn't know that I had a fear that I had to overcome. And it was understanding that we each have fears that stop us. And when I learned that I could overcome the fear that was stopping me, that's when I started to excel and started to see myself in a new way in a future where I saw myself in the way in which 
I could go to. And there's so many African-American young boys and girls in school and in colleges where they need to see themselves in a way that is successful, in a way that's going to be a part of their life path and their life purpose. And I decided to write this book because each person has that future. And when you can envision your own future and see what you want for yourself, it becomes easier for you to make those decisions to move forward in the path that you are that are you're on. And these decisions, including the decisions that I made, help me move forward to becoming a rocket scientist. And I wanted to help other people do the same. Well, I certainly could use your help. I failed algebra, geometry, uh, biology, physics, I think. Uh, and I'm not a rocket scientist. So clearly I dropped the ball somewhere. So I'm going to read this book closely so I can figure out how to be something better when I grow up. I want to thank you for joining me. I want to encourage everyone to check out this book. It's provocative. It's interesting. It's the second part of a series. It's called Unleashed 2, The Science of Attracting What You Want. You can get it everywhere books are sold. As always, we want you to get it from a local black bookstore if you can.